I'm Bleeding Critic. Welcome to Scary Stories UK. Halloween Squid Game Nigel In my last video, Halloween Squid Game Richard, I laid out the options and you responded. Before we dig into the results, I have to thank Tens and H for their high praise. They said to me, No one comes anywhere near your level, not Stevie King, Carpenter, or any of them. You are in a class all your own, and it is the best. Tens and H, I will make sure you'll be safe during Halloween. Nothing evil will be coming for you. Wolf Dragon 777 responded saying they would like to host this squid game. Well, you're welcome. Do it. Send me a file, a recording of your voice to this email. You can introduce the final contestant. Say something like, I am Wolf Dragon 777. Welcome to Bleeding Critics Halloween Squid Game. Let the horror begin. Right, let's get into this. Creepy Richard, what should be done with him? Let's go over the options again. Option 1, he walks. Option 2, I punch him repeatedly in the face. Option 3, without any anaesthetic, I remove his teeth. Immediately after that, I'll use a soup spoon to scoop out his eyeballs from their sockets. Option 4, I kill him any which way you want by hammer, brick, strangulation, bullet, knife, poison, or I smash a truck into him and drive over him again and again. Now it's time for your comments. Ass motherfucking hole 2 suggested he deserves option 2, 3 and 4. Oh, I feel your aggressive vibe. I like that. A wonderful bloody violent mix. Silent torture voted for option three. Oh yes. A delicious choice, my friend, I hear ya. Now Phoenix Fiery 7 cleverly introduced another option. Rat torture. You know what, Phoenix Fiery? I'll save your idea for the vile third contestant. Oh yeah. Look forward to that video. Melissa Marie selected gentle option two. Actually, it's not a gentle option. Punching Richard repeatedly in the face will be pretty bloody nasty. Now Soul Taker doesn't mess around. It's a definitive option free for them. Heather McMichael suggested Richard's tongue is removed. So when option three is carried out, he won't be able to scream. Wonderful idea, Heather. Now, for those of you that didn't watch episode one, and you'd like to know what an unpleasant creep Richard is, click that link. But remember, voting is now closed. So I made my decision based on your interaction, and I will now tell you what I'm going to do to Richard. I will surprise Richard, making him breathe in chloroform. It will take about five minutes until he's unconscious. In movies it's quick, but they always get that wrong. Once he's out cold, I'll glue him to a wheelchair. Once the glue is hardened, I will wake him up with a gentle kiss to his balding head. Then I'll do what Helen suggested. I will hold his nose tight, stopping the airflow, so he'll gasp for breath. At that moment I'll dive into his mouth with mine, and with my own teeth, I'll grab his tongue and pull and rip, then bite down so hard. I'll feel his tongue blood pop and trickle out over my chin. I'll remove his tongue. And you know what, I'll get so caught up in the brutality, I genuinely won't remember if I noticed or even liked his taste. You see, I'll be so in the moment. Then, oh yes, I will punch him 37 times in the face. Why 37? 
no reason, I just like that number. By the time I've finished punching him, he might be dead already. And then I will finish him off by killing him with a hammer. I'll bang, bang, bang into his skull. I'll bang, bang, bang into his brain. Now it's time to introduce you to the second contestant. This is Nigel, Mr. Boring. When he works up in his home office away from his four boring kids and his very stupid wife, he sends insulting, offensive messages to young people across social media and he gets his frills if they self-harm. The rest of the time, this troll's appetite for brutal pornography has become such an obsession that cleaning his keyboard takes longer than usual. Cake-eating Nigel is a coward. His effeminate personality is a huge contrast to his depressing secret online world. At this point in time, I'll be fair and I'll treat him the same way as the other two participants. Now, he doesn't realise he is taking part in this game, which you, you watching now, are also a part of. But don't worry, you are safe. Nigel isn't. You have one of four choices to make. You are given the power to decide what happens to boring Nigel. Option one. His wife and kids get to see footage of what he really does when pretending to work. And his name and home address is passed on to his young victims and their parents. Option two. I'll force feed him cream cake until his gut puts pressure on his stomach's walls, so much so that his stomach tears, sending junk food contents into the abdominal cavity, causing infection and pain. He won't have any surgery to save him, so his death will be very slow and relentlessly painful. Option 3 I'll smash his head into his computer screen and finish boring Nigel off with several office chair blows to his pale white skull. Option four, nothing. Nigel will be free to continue to be boring and make strangers' lives a misery. Now it's time for you to decide his fate. Leave your comments below this video and I'll circle back to do what will be done.